Hey guys, I welcome you all for this week live PMP Q&A session. I hope you guys are doing good and I hope you guys are in good health and I hope your exam preparations are going on full swing. Good. So guys, please let me know in the chat as you guys normally do whether you could able to see me and hear me properly. And also let let me wish some people. Hi Prashant, good to have you. So let me know in the chat you can hear me clearly and you can see me properly. So hi Rajkumar, welcome to my session. Hi Daniela, I hope you're doing good. Hi Prashant, hi Anjali. Hi Santosh, thanks for your feedback. Hi Piyush, hi Tasneem, hi Neelam. Hi Adijoke, good to have you. Hi Olakunle, hi. Hi, Christy. Thanks for your feedback. Oh, Christy says, I'm listening from Dallas. Okay, good. Hi, Venu. Good to have you. Hi, Piyush. Hi, Druti. I'm getting excited. I'm seeing a lot of my students. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Neha, and thanks for your feedback. Hi, Susan. Hi, Neelam. Mani says, all good, working fine. Thanks for your feedback, Mani. Hi, Olakunle. Yeah, good to see you again. Hi, Mihir. Hi, Neeta. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Anil. Hi, Aslam. Hi, Joe. Good to have you. Hey, Bipin. Good to have you. Hi, Chandran. And hi, Gaurav. Good to have you. Okay. So guys, I'm expecting some more people. Uh, I'll be taking a minute or two to start our session. If you guys have any questions, please write down on the chat. I will try to answer the questions. Yeah, you have two minutes. You can ask any questions to me. So I have a serious question after this session. Okay, you can ask any questions you can ask. Hi Deepak. Hi Tushar. Good to see you. So Jimmy said seeing and earning you 100%. Thank you, Jimmy. Hi Bala. Good to have you. Okay. So if you guys have any questions now, you can ask. If not, let's get started. So here we go. Gaurav says, hi Gautam. Cleared my PMP on Sunday. Thanks for your mentor support. I'm so glad, Gaurav. Uh, to be honest, I'm not surprised that you cleared the PMP exam because I was 100% sure you will clear the exam. So, again, I have already congratulated you enough. Anyway, we're going to have a phone call, I think, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Let's talk things in detail about the exam and all those stuff. Congratulations again, Gaurav. And thanks for participating here. And thanks for letting the people know. Good. Okay, guys, so then without wasting any time, let's get started. I'm seeing some new names in the chat. So I want to start with a small introduction about the session. Oops, before giving introduction about the session, let me give introduction about myself. My name is Gautam. I'm working as a head of training department with the company EDU HubSpot. So this is the company I work for. Along with that, I do PMP coaching as well. So uh, this is a short intro about myself. Now let's talk about how this session will be. This session time, it's for half an hour. We're going to have this session for 30 minutes. In that 30 minutes, we will be discussing five questions. Now let's talk about how we will be discussing these questions. I will be showing you guys a question. And for that question, I'll be giving you approximately 60 or 80 minutes for you guys to answer. You guys have to pick an option and I want you guys to write that option on the chat because I'm interested to know which option you guys are picking. After that, I will be approaching that question and then I will be revealing the right choices for you. This process will be continuing for five sets of questions. Meanwhile, you know, if you have any doubts on those questions, you can write it on the chat. I will be trying to answer those questions. So this is how we're going to work. Let's get started. I'm going to show you the first question you are going to attempt. Good. This is your first question, guys. And then I'll be giving you 60 minutes time. You're not 60 minutes. 
60 seconds i'm sorry 60 minutes is too much i'm so sorry 60 seconds your time starts now Okay, so before I start reading which option you guys picked, I have a question from Jimmy. On an issue log, if we have to register any issue, even it happened many times, do we number of time the issue log happen often? Okay, so uh, Jimmy, it's a good question. See, whenever you are finding an issue, you have to document, document that inside the issue log. Consider you have solved that issue means the issue is closed when again the issue is reappearing you have to document that as a new issue one more time okay or you don't want to document as one more time change the status of the issue again as from closed to open in the issue log you can do this means in pmi language you want to update the issue log one more time yeah good let me see the options i could able to see i could oh couldn't able to pick uh -huh. okay a is getting majority you know majority of the people are picking option a good let me try this question guys let me read it first during the sprint review meeting it was observed product owner and the customer talking privately and after that private discussion product owner informed the team that the customer was not happy with the performance because there are a lot of user stories which was picked and not completed the team got surprised because there were no blockers identified during the execution of the sprint as a project manager how will you resolve the situation okay what i understood from this question is i'm in a sprint review meeting i'm observing that my product owner and customer are talking privately and after that private discussion the product owner coming and letting the team know that most of the user stories which were picked was not completed and customer was dissatisfied means you know uh, user stories are not done fully team got surprised because in the execution phase there are no blockers identified and they were surprised with the customer comment as a project manager how will you resolve the situation let's read option a discuss together with the team in a sprint retrospective meeting identify the cause and the solution looks like an excellent choice we have a problem in the question, right? Customer is not happy. They are making a complaint. What is the first step for any problem? First, you have to identify your cause and then you have to come up with a solution. With that, you have to address the cause so that the problem will be fixed. Option A looks like a good choice for me, but I won't conclude A is my pick without reading B, C and D. Let's read B. Quotes the product owner and customer on being collaborative and avoiding private discussions. See, that's not actually the problem in the question. Of course, customer can have a private discussion with the product owner. Who is product owner? Representative of the customer. So customer will be collaborating only with the product owner. And the question is also not talking. The collaboration is an issue. Customer compliant is an issue. That compliant, how you are solving, how you're going to solve it. That's what the question is asking. Yeah. B, it's not a good choice. Option B is gone. For me, still A looks like a better. B, I'm eliminating. Now it's between A, C, and D. Together with the team, define the ground rules and set a limit for the user stories that need to be picked in an iteration. This looks like a good choice. This is giving a solution. But 
before you are arriving to the solution what you have to first identify the cause of the problem when the cause of the problem is when the team is picking more work then implement c as a solution first identify the cause which you are doing by doing option a so c is gone a is still better for me let's read d provide training to the team on better estimating story points this also you will do it later first do a and identify the cause when you find out the cause for this problem is team don't have a good knowledge on estimating story points then do option d so first i will do a then if necessary d d is gone my pick would be a here which majority of the people picked okay good okay guys if that's okay if you guys have picked the wrong uh, answer that's absolutely fine uh, understood from my explanation why i am saying a is right so this is how you have to approach a problem for any problem first identify a cause then comes solution good okay guys let's move on this is your next question i cannot show you a timer because of the resolution issue uh, but approximately i'll be giving 60 to 70 seconds for this question your time starts now okay okay good good let me read the chat so bipin pick d bala pick d pangaj d and moving forward people are picking between b and c okay okay understood you guys are okay there is no <laughs> winner so i could able to see people are picking all four options some are picking a some are picking b some are picking c some are picking d okay good let me try this question let's see what's the right answer a project manager is currently facilitating a sprint planning meeting after the end of the previous sprint pivo did backlog refinement however the user stories are not estimated so in the current sprint planning meeting team was doing an estimation of user story which was taking long time and because of this agenda of the meeting is not met which of the following action should have avoided the situation? Okay. What I understood from the question is I'm in a sprint planning meeting currently at the end of the previous sprint means before the sprint planning meeting, my PO did backlog refinement means PO has added some user stories. However, the user stories are not estimated. Now team is in the sprint planning meeting. They were doing the estimation of user stories in the sprint planning meeting. Because of this, the agenda of the meeting is not met. First of all, I cannot resist myself in teaching concepts. Estimation of user stories will not happen in sprint planning meeting. Please be aware. It should always happen before you are starting sprint planning meeting. It's, it's, it, we team should not do estimation in planning meeting. That's why they are they, they couldn't able to meet the agenda of the meeting. So which of the following actions should have avoided the situation? Good. Let's read option A. A new app, new epic should have been added by the product owner to allow testing in the next sprint. See, whenever you are reading an option, you have to always ask yourself whether this option is addressing the problem what I have in the question. What is the problem I have in the question? Team is actually doing estimation in the sprint planning meeting. 
how adding a new epic to allow the testing in the next sprint will solve the problem no not a good choice for me option a i'm not eliminating i decided it's not a good choice let me go forward with b the team would have done an analogous estimation before sprint planning meeting this is also not a good choice because from the question it is very clear this is an agile question analogous normally we'll do in predictive model in agile we do relative sizing b not a good choice let's read c the product owner should have provided the initial estimation which will get refined by the team in the sprint planning meeting so it would have reduced the time in the sprint planning meeting no option c it's very bad choice first of all product owner will not do any estimation in agile teams or self organizing team does estimation second as i already mentioned before the sprint planning meeting estimation should be completed c is also not a good choice let's read d team should have properly created the definition of ready this looks like an excellent choice guys what is definition of ready it is a checklist it will have list of points which is list of task one we only when we complete the task we can start our work okay now when we will do our work in a sprint right what is the first ceremony we conduct in a sprint sprint planning meeting now when team would have created a definition of ready in that we can have one point like whether estimation of user stories is done or not so what team will do before team conducts the sprint planning meeting team will open the definition of ready and they will check and one of the point is whether estimation is done or not if it is not done first team will do the estimation then only they will start the sprint planning meeting so when team would have created the definition of ready definitely this problem would have been avoided so my pick would be d and d is a right choice the people you know who uh, really don't know what is definition of ready you know i cannot explain the definition of ready in this class it's a little big topic uh, go offline and try to understand what is definition of ready then you will understand the logic behind this question only when you know what is definition of ready you could you can able to answer this question rightly okay good okay guys let's move on this is your next question and i'm going to give you 60 seconds for you for this question and your time starts now okay so i could able to see c is getting unanimity good everyone pick c okay let me try this question an agile project with multiple teams is working virtually due to economic conditions of the organization the project success is strategically important to the sustainability of the organization the project manager notices the daily stand up meetings and other ceremonies always extend the time box limit also the coordination of all the teams in internal meetings gets challenging as a project manager how will you address okay what i understood from this question i have an agile project with multiple teams they are working virtually my project success is very important you notice that the daily stand up meetings and any meetings which you are conducting it's always extending the time box limit so 
what do I mean by time? What does mean by time box? When a meeting is scheduled to one hour, it's always getting ext extended. It is extending the time box limit. How will you address? Let's read option A. Come out with an electronic Kanban board. Okay, this may address the problem. It's a good choice because you know in team meetings, people are time limits are we are extending always the timings of the meeting. When you are coming up with electronic Kanban board, this may help. Okay. Let's read B. Conduct an ad hoc representative meet retrospective meeting often. Okay, we can do this, but see what is a problem? Already meeting timings are extending. How option B will help? It's not a good choice for me. A, I think it looks better. Let me eliminate B. B is not a good choice. B is gone. It's between A, C, and D. Implement a scrum of scrum approach. This looks like an excellent choice. The reason is what is the ideal team? scrum team strengths it should be between three to nine so when you have a multiple teams or when you have a bigger team you have to always go for scrum of scrum approach please be aware again what is scrum of scrum just try to read it offline so it's a big discussion yeah c looks like a good choice let's read d come up with a fishbowl window that prompts the better interactions it will prompt the better interactions but nevertheless i'm not 100 percent sure i can complete all the meeting within the time limit. But if I implement Scrum of Scrum, I can split this teams into different different Scrum team. With that, I can easily handle these ceremonies. My pick would be option C. Okay. In order to keep it simple, as I already mentioned, I cannot explain the complete Scrum of Scrum concept in this class. So when you have a bigger teams, if you want to do the project in Scrum, always go for Scrum of Scrum. Okay, guys, good job. Good job for this question. Excellent job. So this is your question number four and 60 seconds for this. Your time starts now. Okay, so again, people started with A and I'm seeing more D and again, I'm seeing A. Okay, there is no one winner. For, uh, there is no winner for this uh, question. Yeah. People are picking between A and D. Good. Let me try this question. After a lot of hard work, an agile team launches an innovative product to the market that fails to satisfy targeted customer and the net promoter score becomes too low. Your project sponsor was not happy as substantial investment have already made in marketing campaigns and quality control. As a project manager, how will you prevent future failures of this kind? Okay. Let me try to frame it up what I understood from the question. So we launched a product to the market. My customers are not liking the product and NPS score become too low. NPS means net promoter score. See what is net promoter score is when you want to go to a restaurant, when you want to try a new restaurant, what you guys normally do, you'll go to Google and then you will type that restaurant name and what you will get. You can able to see out of five stars, how many stars the restaurant has. That is the net promoter score for that restaurant. So for your product, the customer rating is very low, which is net promoter score is a customer rating. Because of this, your sponsor was not so happy because a lot of investment has made. As a project manager, how will I prevent these kind of stuff? Good. Let's read option A. 
come up with more stringent tests and features for the minimum viable product. Okay, I can do this. I can create a minimum viable product. I can launch the product and I can see whether end user are really liking the product or not. Looks like a good choice. Uh, let me read B. Facilitate a proper sync up between product owner and marketing manager. See why marketing manager is coming into the picture. Actually, no, this is not a good choice. You should facilitate a good sync up between product owner and customer. Then it becomes a good choice because customers are not liking your pro product. B is con. I'm eliminating. Not a good choice. Now it's between A, C and D. Define target customer persona type in a broader way. This looks like a good choice. When you're defining a target customer as a persona, you can easily identify the needs of the target customer. When you are identifying the needs of the target customer, you can implement that needs. After that, when you're going to the market, customer will like your product because you have implemented their needs. C looks like a good choice for me, but let me read D then. Come up with consumer usability, continuous consumer usability testing and incorporate the feedback. This looks like an excellent choice. See what you're doing in D, you are doing a end user usability testing. Means you are treating yourself as an end user and then you are testing your product and you are seeing whether you are liking the product or not. That's called consumer usability testing. And then you are incorporating your feedback continuously throughout the project. See, when you are doing this, definitely you will develop a product which meets the needs of the customer. And automatically what will happen? Customer will love your product and your NPS score will automatically get improved. Yeah. I'm comparing A, C and D rather doing A, C, D is the best choice. A and C is a good one. D is the best choice based on the reasoning I have provided. Yeah. My pick would be D here, which I would say not majority of the people pick most of the people, you know, I think some people have picked D. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's do the last question. Okay. Before moving to last question, I'm going to make you a request. Any guess what I'm going to make? Let me see. The people who have already participating in my session, you will easily answer this question. What request I'm going to make? Any guess? Exactly. Nadala says smash the like button. Thank you guys. Thank you, Nadala. Guys, please smash the like button. When you feel like my, you are learning something new, smash it. I'm seeing 54 participants in this live session. Now you guys are attending live. I need 54 likes. Okay, good. If I'm not getting 54 likes, I won't be conducting class next week. No, I was, I'm just joking. Don't worry. I'll be conducting. And smash the like button once. Here we go. Adijoke says just smash it once out of excitement. Don't smash it two times it will unlike my video okay good okay uh more moreover i want to make an important uh, announcement as well before we are doing our last question see what's happening for the past two weeks i'm keep on receiving some email from of this pmp aspirants stating that uh they were trying to compare the questions which we are discussing in this live session with the pmp questions see to be honest the questions will be similar. Okay. So what you're seeing here, the questions will be little similar to, you know, uh, the PMP exam, but please be aware PMP exam will be even more difficult than this. Don't benchmark this questions with the actual PMP exam questions. You will have some similarity, but the complexity will be difficult means the real PMP exam will be even more difficult than this. And second, it's not like you are just practicing your, if you are watching my session, which I'm conducted almost close to one year, you can go and pass the PMP exam. See, if you want to pass the PMP exam as the first step, you want to set your base correct. Okay. This means you want to set your concepts correct. You have to be very strong on your concept. So please be aware only when you are strong on your concept, you could able to clear the exam. Okay. Question practice comes next after you are making, after you are making your concept strong. 
good this is something i want to communicate because i have received a lot of emails last week stating that gautam if i just practiced some thousand questions will i go and pass the pmp exam no unless until your concepts are not good you won't pass okay so please put your energy on setting up your concepts right good let's do our last question of today's class which is question number 5 guys please be aware for this question you guys have to select two options okay i cannot show you the timer but i will give you approximately 1 and 1/2 minutes for this question your time starts now okay let me read the chat people are picking c and d good let me try this question an agile software team that block for several weeks on a problem one of the team members get the problem resolved However after the product release it appeared the solution being incorporated for solving the problem is the basic cause behind the functionality to failure the product owner demands an explanation which of the following reveals as how should the project manager react okay i am working in an agile software team and i got blocked with a problem several weeks almost for many weeks one of the sorry one of the team members resolved the problem however after the product release the solution you know which is which we incorporated to resolve the problem is the major uh, you know reason behind the functionality to failure means after the release my product has a failure for that the root cause is the solution we implemented now the product owner is demanding an explanation now as a pm how, how i should react good let me read option a tell the product owner that the mistakes are inevitable but it will be corrected okay this is very bad option <laughs> it's like i'm making i'm making you know a philosophy you know mistakes are inevitable it will be corrected no this is not how i will react come up with a definition of ready by working with the team okay uh see it's not a problem with the definition of ready if the, it's a problem with the def- definition of done i would say Oh uh, it's not a good choice b is not a good choice let's read c work with the team and examines the gap in the definition of done this looks like a good good choice see what is definition of done again that is a checklist that will have list of points only when those points are met we can say our work is done now what happened here we implemented a solution with that solution we went to the market because of that solution we found a failure now when we have a proper definition of done so only if the points are meeting i can allow the solution to get into the release this looks like a good choice i can work with the team and i can examine the gap in the definition of done if i have a gap i should fix it c looks like a good choice for me comparing a b and c c is a better choice let me read d ask the team to explain the rationale and lessons learned this looks like a good choice you can ask the team members to explain why after implementing the solution this functionality got failure because they are the one who did the work you are routing towards the problem solving c and d is a better choice comparing a and b so a and b is gone now let me read e warn the team member no 
I don't want to read the statement further. No, you should not pick these kind of options in your PMP exam. Who are you to warn the team members? No, you have to always support the team members, coach the team members. My pick would be C and D. Out of the five options I have, C and D looks like a better choice. Yeah. And C and D is the, the right choice as well. I could able to see most of the people have picked that. Good job, guys. Good job. And I, I'm a little, you know, proud that my students are picking right choice. Good. Okay. So with this, I have completed this session. So we are going to close our session. So thank you for your participation. I hope you guys have learned something new today in today's class. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. So see you all next week. Uh, next week, I think I'll be conducting this live session one hour earlier. So normally I used to conduct 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. You know, I'll conduct. Uh, but next week I'm going to conduct one hour earlier. It means 12 p.m. Eastern I'll be starting the session. So please be aware of it. And uh, thanks for your participation. If you guys have any question, you can ask. So I will reveal. I will answer the question and then I will go off. If you guys don't have any question, see you tomorrow. Not tomorrow. See you next week. Until then, bye. So Sabit says, still you are not clear with option D. Okay. Sabit, the option D says you are asking the team members to explain the rationale behind it. You know, you are asking, you know, see, you guys are the one who implemented the solution. After implementing the solution, why the product got failed in the market? You are asking the reason. That's a good way to react. Good. So Pankaj says, thank you. Th you're welcome, Pankaj. Thanks for your participation. Christian says, thank you, Gautam. Mangesh says, thank you. So Christy made a clap. Thank you, Christy. Jimmy, thank you. Druti, you're welcome. Stephanie, glad to know. Enjoyed the session. Thank you so much. Mihir, you're welcome, buddy. So Chitti Babu, thank you're welcome. Francis mentioned, thanks, Gautam. You're welcome, Francis. Rithik, thanks for your participation. Anil, thank you. Santosh, thanks for your participation. Sabit, thank you. Nadella, Anjali, thank you so much. Deepak, you're, wel you're welcome. So, Joe asked in one of the questions on the mock test, CFO of the company. Okay. So, questions related to our mock test, private discussion, Joe. Just write me an email. I'm going to give you an answer for that. Yeah. Prashant, thank you. Thanks for your participation. Nita, thank, thank you. Thanks for your participation. Saurav, thank you so much for your participation. Okay. So I have thanked everyone who wished me on the chat. So see you all next week, guys. Until then, bye. Take care. Study well. See you. Bye.